Hi and thanks for tuning in to watch this video. If you would like to know how to book a private session with me or how to uh, get some tuition with me to learn how to connect with your guides in the angelic realm, um, just go to my blog Fifth Dimension by clicking on the link below this video and uh, fifthdimensional.blogspot.com and click on the readings and mentoring tab once you get there and you'll find all the information that you need uh, right there. I'm also offering a really good uh, deal at the moment, I suppose it is, for six weeks of tuition which means that you actually get one session free. So just have a look on that page and scroll down and you'll, you'll find out about it there. Okay and keep watching, thank you very much again for your support and hope you enjoy the video. Right, okay. I just, I love these cards so much. I just thought it'd be really nice to do a quick midweek one. So this is a really, really quick um, midweek look at um, Atlantis. Oh, how hilarious. Yes, thanks universe. <laughs> That's the card I've got for the week. So the universe is trying to tell me it's okay, one card a week is fine. Contentment. But I've started, so I'll finish. I'd like another card for Wednesday, just to take us through to the end of the week, um, because these cards are so lovely. The Great Crystal. <laughs> okay, isn't that gorgeous? Okay. A vast quartz crystal of pure source energy graced the Temple of Poseidon and created an intergalactic, intergalactic portal. It was also the central power generator, providing pure and safe energy. As the mainframe computer for Atlantis, it powered a high-frequency internet service. The Great Crystal now lies in the centre of the Bermuda Triangle. How interesting. And I'm really intrigued by um, what that says about it uh, providing a high-frequency internet service. And I'm wondering whether that high-frequency internet service is, service is something to do with the telepathy that I was talking about at the beginning of the week. <laughs> So that's really interesting how that all kind of ties in because, um, uh, you know, I know that there was some amazing technology there in Atlantis, but I know that also the crystals would have been helping us to to develop our minds and our consciousness and to stay connected through our minds and our consciousness and our hearts um, rather than just through radio frequencies and um, such like. So, okay, this card suggests that you look at the source of your inner power. Do not underestimate yourself. Every thought, word and action radiates an energy that affects others and draws situations and people to you. Make sure your aims are for the highest good. Great currents of energy will emanate from you, enabling you to be a power generator to help the world. So... This also ties in with um, what we kind of said at the beginning of the week about filling your heart with love by doing what you love and allowing that energy to pour out into the planet. Um, it's about, it's a reminder that we are a very powerful structure for embodying a lot of energy, of God consciousness, of cosmic consciousness, of transforming uh, life-affirming, world-shaping energy. So when we get our energy in the right place and we start putting it out there and I'm seeing waves and waves and waves of golden light pouring out of these lovely light workers listening to this now and I just want to encourage that and um, that's it really. Direct your power, direct your energy, don't underestimate it, don't underestimate yourself and don't underestimate the power of us, of a unified thought. Okay, thank you very much for watching, enjoy the rest of the week and the weekend, speak to you soon, bye.